I have so many favorite exercises, but I think this one is my all-time favorite. And I honestly think everybody should do these and practice doing them and just try to always get better and better at it. And it's a bear crawl. So in a bear crawl, I see the biggest mistake is your hips being up like this when you're doing a bear crawl. You wanna try to keep your body kind of in a tabletop position, pulling your core in. So when you're in this bottom position, don't push your core out, pull it in and then you're going to press up through your shoulders here. You're not locking out your elbows, round that upper part of your back, and you're gonna be moving one arm and one foot at a time. It's the opposite. So right hand, left foot, left hand, right foot. And you're staying really tight. Uh, you'll feel this throughout different um, areas of your body while you're doing it. I feel it a lot in my obliques when I'm going back and forth. I also feel it in my quads and also in my shoulders. So if you wanna make this more challenging, if you get down low, your hips may be a little bit above, but you're keeping your elbows super bent the entire time, nice and strong. If you think or if you feel your wrists hurting, it could be because they're straight on. I turn my wrists slightly outward when I'm doing this. The other thing you need to remember is you don't want your feet super close together. Get a nice, good position, your knees right under your hips, walking forward and walking backwards. And this is going to improve so many areas of your fitness. It's not just gonna improve your strength, it's gonna improve your coordination, your balance, and it's just an overall great exercise that's gonna strengthen all of the little muscles around your big muscles. So if you have shoulder problems, if you have knee problems, hip problems, this is a great exercise to do, and honestly, it has changed my life, and it'll change your life too.